Hey folks, good evening. We're having a little storm in the night. It was hailing, but it's not, it's not now. I hope you guys can hear us. We're gonna try it anyway. Oh, just come in from church. We're so happy that you guys are watching our video. Uh, we want you to like and subscribe to our channel if you will, please. Uh, so here on the place, the farm, uh, we cut lots and lots of wood. My mother, she she lives just across from us and we cut her about 20 rick of wood a year and we probably burn between 10 and 13, something like that. So a big part of what we use uh, for to heat and uh, for fence and clearing land is chainsaw. So we're going to show you a little bit about that tonight. We've got a little limb saw here. This is my dad's. And I kind of like steel. Steel's my my brand. This is a little bitty 171. But then the real one, the the workhorse is this uh, 660, 660 Magnum. So she's a good one. And uh, we, run a, we run a 20 inch bar for our main wood cutting. Uh, but since she's such a big old saw, We've got the big, we've got the big guns here if we need them. So anyway, we uh, we bought this little piece of machinery here. This is a uh, sharpener from Harbor Freight. And uh, it's normally, I think, thirty-nine dollars. We'll uh, we'll put a few different sharpeners up on the video where you guys can look at them. But I think it's, it's normally thirty-nine dollars on Black Friday. They had a members deal for twenty-nine, so we gave twenty-nine dollars for this. And uh, a lot of people don't want to use one. But around here, it's all flint rock. So if you if you hit a rock with your chain and you try to file it, you're probably going to wear your file out. So it at least helps to get your chain back in shape. All right, I just built this little frame here uh, where it can set up on a table or or whatever and. You can even put something behind it to weight it down if you want to, and it works real good. So, I'm just going to jerk this chain off here real quick. Just take the nut off like that. Pull that off. Pull that off like that. Here's your chain. Now you put this like this. Now on a lot of chains, let me show you, this one doesn't have it, but this one does. On a lot of chains, there'll be a line. Can you see that little line right there? And that little line right there at the back of that, that gives you the angle that gives you the angle that the chain's supposed to be sharpened at. So, here's where we set our angle. Most chains, most chains are at a 35 degree angle. And we'll get this one up here. Let's see. Right here. So, all we have to do is set that like that we'll clamp this is automatic when you pull this it clamps the chain and we'll check it Let's see got to back her up this is the adjustment 
So every time you come down, it'll get it. Okay. All right, we're gonna turn it on, try that. Okay, when you guys are using this, wear your, wear your safety glasses. I've got, I wear glasses so I can see, so that should work. Now, you just wanna barely, Okay, we're not going deep enough. So right here's our depth. See, it just comes down, rides against this. So we'll check it again. Okay, there we go. We're going all the way to the bottom. Okay, so then now what we're gonna do is we'll just let off and we'll pull back. And remember, it's every other one on one side. And depending on how dull your chain is, you can either go just a little bit or you can go a lot. A lot of people, uh, they, and there, it probably does take a little more uh, metal off than if you're using a file, but as long as you don't go too deep and you don't set it where it's cutting too much off, you can actually just sharpen your chain very lightly. And then if something happens and you need to take more off, then you can set it and you can take more off. No, I've kind of got to where I can tell when I'm coming around, when I get all the way around, but you can even take and mark, uh, mark it where you can tell. Or sometimes there'll be a master link on made chains, I think I bought this chain, so it's a factory. Now you can tell I just hit, I just hit it. I went all the way around. Yep. See how it's not, it's not sparking at all in the front. It's just sparking when we bought them out. So now what we do is we loosen this up and we turn this. And most factory chains are 35 degrees, but I like when I start sharpening my chain, I like to back it up and, and sharpen it 30. I think it throws a little better of a chip. So that's, that's what I do with mine is 30 degrees. Just check it. it needs to take off a little more okay that should and now you're just go around on this side and every other one is what we want to sharpen has a little burning smell where it's, there's oil on the chain and plus you're grinding it off so it it has a little bit of a smell
Okay, so there. Oh, I thought I went all the way around, but I think I got too quick. There we go. Let me try one more. Okay, there you go. So when you get all the way around that, you just shut that off. And you can take and you can feel it. Feel it, honey, with your finger. Just the, just the tip. Just barely rake oh, it. You sharp. can feel it kind of grabs you. Okay, now, the next thing, and I'm going to show you all what I do. But now, just because I do this doesn't mean that you have to do it or it's the thing to do or whatever. I'm just... I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to tell y'all what to do. I'm just showing you what I do. Now on this big saw, you can get a lot more aggressive and it probably works. But on the small saw, you have to be really careful. Come around on this other side. So this is called the dogs right here. The dogs of the chain right there. So this is the way that I take the dogs down and you just have to be very careful. But I start the grinder and as it's spinning, I let off of it and I touch them. And then that's enough. You'll be, you'll be very surprised what, what that small amount will do. And then you have to be careful not to hit your tooth because if you hit your tooth, it'll dull. It'll dull it. And if you take too much off your dogs, then it won't want to cut smooth. It'll want to hang up. When you can tell that you shine the top of it, you'll be surprised. It, it's enough. Okay, so that's how we that's how we sharpen our chain uh, here on the farm, and it may not be perfect. And I'm sure there's some people that can do it better than me but it works good for us. So anyway, thank you so much for tuning in and watching Leak Family Farm. We ask you to subscribe. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments and we'll get back to you. And uh, we want you to tune in if you have ideas for a video. If we do it, we will certainly make a video and show you how we do it. So thank you very much. Y'all have a good evening. Good night.